so I've just arrived at the Malvern Hills. I'm not entirely sure where I am. Um, I know I'm at the Malvern Hills because there's loads of hills around and I've just driven through Malvern, so at least I know that. So that's the whole point really. I've come to somewhere that I don't know and I want to just get out on foot and explore a little bit. I've got a few hours left of daylight. It's currently quarter past two and yeah, just looking forward to going out and um, seeing what we can find. Right, okay, finally I've got out of the car and I am heading for a hike up to the Herefordshire Beacon as I negotiate this style, wrong way. So what I want to try and look for, first of all, is that lovely view. So I want a vantage point. So I want to try and get it nice and high and I want to see what I can find. I'm of course looking for a few things. Most importantly is foreground interest and light. So we'll see how we get on. good idea. So, firstly I want to talk about the weather. Now, I looked at the weather forecast last night and I've kept my eye on it today. It said it was going to be exactly how it is, which is sunny, the touch of cloud, which is perfect for landscape photography. Because when that sun goes down, which I think will go down sort of just over my left shoulder, Sort of in, in about an hour, two hours. Hopefully there's enough cloud cover in the sky that we'll get a really love, lovely magenta sky. I'm going to turn you around now. I'm over my shoulder now. You might be able to see the Worcestershire Beacon. Now the highest point behind me is the Worcestershire Beacon. And where I want to be is up there, which is a Herefordshire Beacon. Because I think if I'm shooting against the sun, We'll get a lovely show of red just over over the Worcestershire Beacon. Plus there's lots to take in, there's houses dotted around and things like that that I can bring out in the edit. I'm heading up towards the Herefordshire Beacon now. I'm seeing lots and lots of cool compositions, potentials, and I want to get the big stopper out before, before I do some panos of the sunset. And I've also got to try and remember my way home as well. I know I'm that direction, so I should be fine. So, as long as I walk east, away from the sun, I should be fine. So I'm about to walk into the sun here because I'm heading, uh, heading west to the, to, I think this is the southern end, the, the southwesterly end of the, of the Mulvans. And basically the Mulvans are highest on their most uh, opposite peaks, if you know what I mean. So you might be able to see me the route that you'd probably take if you did walk the Mulvans. You probably start round about here and you'd, you'd finish up at that peak straight in the middle, just beyond that is the Worcestershire Beacon. I don't know what the next one after that's called, I think it's Perseverance Hill or something like that, I'll have to find out. But the other side of that is Great Malverns, so all in all, you could probably walk the whole range of the Malverns in about two hours, three hours. Maybe that's optimistic, maybe a bit less, I don't know. But all that matters is the weather's great for landscape photography at the moment. So I've just got to find my composition, then I'll get my gear out. I've spotted what I think will be a really nice composition. This way to your left as, you, uh, as you're watching this video, there's a lovely, well, a lovely vista really. I'm shooting into the sun, but there's a lovely uh, textured path here with, you know, it's brick and stone and obviously there's lots of different colour tones. So I think that'll look really cool. If I just do a shot this way, I'm going to use the big stopper because I really want to enhance the movement of the clouds because it is quite windy now. It has picked up again, which is good. Not good for your health, but good for your picture. So I'm going to carry on and I'm going to set up and we'll see what we get.
So I've just stumbled upon another composition. Um, which I'm not sure whether it'll work or not. I've got the big stopper with me, so because I'm so stubborn, I feel like I've got to use it on every shot. Uh, which, of course, I don't. I just want to. Um, I've noticed at the top of the brow of the hill there, the sun is just going down and it's, it's bleeding a lovely little bit of light. And to the left and to the right, you can really see some nice, nice colours in, in the sky. And I want to see if I can really capture that movement against, you know, the stillness of, of, the, of the hill with this leading line. You can see the path pretty much that takes you all the way to the top. So I want to see if I can, if I can, uh, if I can capture something there. Again, if not, not the end of the world. But if I do, awesome. Right, don't try this at home, kids. I've just realised that that's my car park down there. And I will need to go to the other side. Because if you can see those hills that are just sort of soaked in sun at the moment, I want to be up there. So here we go. This looked a lot smaller from back there. However, I'm about to approach the peak that I wanted to get to for some sunrise, some sunset shots. So I'm nearly there. So in a second, I'll pack up, uh, I'll set up the gear, hopefully wait for a lovely sunset. Disappointed with the uh, with the sunset, but it's just great to be out anyway. And I suppose the best lesson that I, and you can ever take from this is that you've just got to get out here and shoot. Uh, because if you don't, you won't understand the light, and maybe you never will. But you've got to be you've got to be out here to try and make the best of it. So I'm going to try and try and rescue a few panos now. So I'm going to try. And just try and catch this sunset of the uh, of the Herefordshire Beacon, actually, which is a uh, where I started my journey. So I'm going to flick over to manual focus. Actually, I'll auto focus in the distance. Okay, then I'll set my focus, and then we're just going to do a few left to righters. Here we go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, actually. It is so cold and I'm never usually one to moan about the cold but I honestly haven't been this cold since I went to Norway but that's what photography is all about getting in amongst it You've got to get into these situations else you'll never get great shots. So I'm going to call it a day because my, <laughs> there's a dog just on the horizon there. Oh, there's a with an owner, it's all right. My, my um, car is actually part of the other side of where I've just shot. So I've got about another, at least half an hour walk home. So I better do it before it gets dark. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. And I'm going to be doing plenty more of these landscape uh, videos again so thanks very much for watching and i hope you've enjoyed it all the best cheers yeah.